show stuff just now, isn't it? It's a chair. Yeah, yeah, it's a chair. Cloth, you know, feet in here. I have to shave this down a little bit. Just trying to figure out how to carve it, you know. That small. Anyways. Tiny. It's for really tiny people. <laughs> Hard to show stuff this small, isn't it? It's a chair. Yeah, yeah, it's a chair. Cloth, you know, feet in here. I have to shave this down a little bit. Just trying to figure out how to carve it, you know. That small. Anyways. Tiny. It's for really tiny people. <laughs> okay. It is time for us. Okay. It is time for some more instructions on this barn. Of course, I, mean, I build stuff, man. I don't really plan, I just kind of build it, okay? I just kind of build it. So, I've done my frames. Shit. Let me zoom in for you. Zing. This is an outside piece. You know, so the door, you can make doors in it, okay? Up onto the loft. Now I did three like that. One for each end of the building, and then one for over towards part way into the loft. Okay, that way there's. I don't know why I did three. Anyways, I did three, and then the other ones I left the middle piece out. You know, this rather than using a solid one, I just did a little one. Okay, so those are my five pieces, and I'm going to stand them up. You have. in this case was 12 inches on the center of it, 6 inches, and then I just divided it out, so I, you know, 2 and a quarter inches out, and that's where I'm going to put my beams. So, I mean, yeah, that's a long ways in reality on, if you're going by actual scale, but everything else has to be kind of modified for a ease of building, because you don't want to, I mean, well, it all depends on what you're building, right? You know, you can do it exact, go measure, and then calculate but we also kind of in this case want it for gameplay okay so I took a stick that now this is these are quarter inch by quarter inch and this is three eighths by a quarter inch okay so I'm just going to hold it up to my marks that I made there I'm going to have it sticking out the front end a little bit I don't want it sticking over the edge of the board so I'm going to cut it probably a quarter inch shorter on the side and that's pretty much how I measure things you know just kind of eyeball it and then to stick this on here I notice that some of my pieces I didn't put quite right why is that in between here at the top it's not quite right on the of it. So anyways, let's just give her a go and see if we can raise this sucker. What's this piece? Oh, okay. This is really thin stuff. It was 3 8 by an eighth of an inch, it looks like. I think I'll use that for inside support pieces for now. Anyways, get some glue. This is, I mean, since we're building on this, I, I just use it as a glue thing. Eh? A little bit heavy on the glue to make sure it sticks. Now, you could use, you know, those uh, hard glue guns. Hard glue gun would make this stand up pretty good. 
and it dries pretty quick. But I really hate hot glue guns, so I never use them. decide later whether or not it's going to be kind of a falling down barn because I didn't glue it right or if it's going to be kind of a newer barn because I did have it glue glued standing up straight <laughs> kind of yeah just adapt it as you go now if you want it you know perfect yeah you're gonna to have to clamp and screw and all that kind of stuff, eh? Right. There's supposed to be a cross piece underneath here that holds that up. I forgot all about that. So oh, now I need to cut a little sticks for underneath there. That's what I need. How high do they need to be? Not very dang high. They need to be an eighth of an inch smaller than this piece. I guess. Do we? Do we do? Cabin fever. Cabin fever. Cabin. Cabin fever with the cats. That's what's going on. It's going to be a cat fight. <laughs> 